Regional and Convalescent Hospital in Santa Ana, California, makers of Chase and Sanborn Coffee bring you the Chase and Sanborn program, starring Francis Langford, with Spike Jones, the city slickers, Tony Romano, I'm Ken Carpenter, and our guest this Sunday is Vera Bay. And here's Francis. <laughs> be back here, and ladies and gentlemen, I wish all of you could witness the fine work that's being done at this hospital. The work of easing the worn and weary veteran back into army tasks on this side of the ocean, and in some cases, to civilian life. And yet I was a little surprised at the way the fellows received me today. See, Spike, why is it the men here at Santa Ana don't like girls? What in the world gave you the idea that these fellows don't like girls? Well, whenever I pass a barracks around here, I fall into a trap. Well, they like the city slickers, all right. The commanding general told me that a lot of the men here completely recovered when they heard we were coming. Ken heard him. Yeah, I heard him, but that is, <laughs> that's not what he said. He said that when the men heard you were going to play here, a lot of them asked to be returned to active duty. <laughs> Isn't that the same thing? <laughs> well, let's see what effect the slickers have on the men here today. Ladies and gentlemen, Spike Joan and the city slickers, <laughs> zero on Oh My Jingle. <laughs> In the land of San Domingo, lived a gal called Old by Jingo. Da 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 From the fields and from the marshes came the young and old by gushes. Da 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 They all spoke with a different lingo, but they all loved Old by Jingo. And every night they sang the pale moonlight. Oh, by gee, by gosh, by gum, by Joe. Oh, by Jingo, won't you hear our love? We will build for you a hut. You will be our favorite nut. We'll have a lot of little old by gollies, and we'll put them in the follies. Oh, by Jingo, said by gosh, by gee. Oh, by Jiminy, please don't bother me. So they all run away singing, oh, by gee, by gosh, by gum, by gee, by Jingo. By gee, you're the only one for me.
Everybody's out to get all the pleasure coffee can bring. So here's the way to double enjoyment, and it's yours right now. Yes, everybody's doubling up on coffee pleasure this year by drinking ice Chase and Sanborn coffee, the king of refreshing drinks. More people are enjoying this great treat right now than ever before in our entire history. And that's only natural when you stop to consider that flavor is responsible for Chase and Sanborn's popularity all over the country. And flavor is the making of truly delicious, truly satisfying iced coffee. You want all the flavor you can possibly get to offset the melting ice. Deep down, wholehearted, satisfying flavor in lavish, generous abundance. And that describes Chase and Sanborn coffee from the first sip to the last. Because this richer blend brings you extra flavor in every drop. All your glass will hold. At mealtime and between, cool off this way. Enjoy more iced coffee. And enjoy iced coffee more. Ask for delicious Chase and Sanborn coffee every time. at the hospital have asked me to sing Hoagie Carmichael's Stardust. When Hoagie wrote Stardust, he broke every rule in the books on how to write a song and came up with a masterpiece. And now the purple dust of the night steals across the meadows of my heart. High up in the sky Stars climb, always reminding me that we're apart. You wander down the lane and far away, leaving me a song that will not die. Love is now the stardust of yesterday. The memory of years gone by. Sometimes I wonder why I spend the lonely night dreaming of a song, the melody of. When our love was new, and each kiss an inspiration. Oh, but that was long ago, and now my consolation is in the stardust of a song. Remember me so well after all. <laughs> oh, I remember you all right. 
But why this sudden preference for aviators? Oh, it's my gambling instinct. I'll take a flyer any time. <laughs> Ooh, just me. I'm oh. dead. <laughs> well, there are 5,000 of them here in Santa Ana. Is that so? 5,000 men and just us two girls? Mm-hmm. That's what I like. Even distribution. <laughs> Miss Langford, I came here to the hospital to see a particular boyfriend of mine. Oh, was he wounded in action? I'll say he was. He tried to get away from me. (laughs) I don't know. Could you imagine a man like that? He just wouldn't take yes for an answer. Well, honestly, I hope you win your flyer back. Oh, yes. If you'll only come back to me, I'll tear up all my love letters from the other soldiers. Oh, don't do that, Miss Vig. Those Civil War letters have historical value. Oh. Well, you dear girl. (laughs) Just keep this up, Blondie, and you and I may make a little history ourselves today. Don't scare me. I wish some man would say that. <laughs> oh, Miss Biggs. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid you haven't changed a bit. Oh. Can anything be done to make you stop chasing men? It certainly make them stop running, that's all. <laughs> well, I, I suppose man chasing does have its compensations. You must have lots of interesting experiences to talk about. Interesting, yes. To talk about, no. <laughs> some other interest in life besides men. Uh, I do. I do, Miss Langford. I've been riding horses ever since I was a little girl. Naturally, that was the only means of transportation they had in those days. Oh, 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 you darling. I have half a mind to pull your blonde hair out by its brown roots. No, 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 girls, girls. We're not going to lose our tempers, are we? Oh, wait a minute. Don't tell me. Let me guess. You're Spike Jones. Oh! Oh, oh my goodness, how I've longed for this moment. Kiss me. But, 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 I, now, I'm, I'm, Spike, I'm, darling, don't waste time in bed. Just take me in your arms and kiss me. Now, now, wait a minute. I'm not Spike Jones. I'm Ken Carpenter. This is no time to be technical. Kiss me. Uh, 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 please, Miss Vague, my... My heart belongs to another. Oh? Yes, to Francis. Oh. Oh, that Langford woman again. What's she got that I haven't got? What's that? What's she got that I haven't got? Well, nothing, I guess, but she hasn't had it so long. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I'd hate you if you weren't a man. Glad you're not Spike Jones. Where is Spike? Well, I'll call him over if you want me to, but I, I think he's younger than you are, Miss Vague. Who isn't? Uh... Oh, you're a little holy terror tonight, aren't you? Bring Spike on, please. Set him up in the other alley. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, Miss Vague, Spike's been wanting to meet you all evening. Oh, uh, Spike. Oh, here he comes now, Miss Vague. Is that his face, or has another war broken out? <laughs> Spike, this is very vague. Gee, in person? Gosh, Miss Vague, I think you're wonderful. Oh, oh go on. <laughs> Honest, I think you're gorgeous. Oh, go on. <laughs> I'd like to take you in my arms and give you a great big kiss. Oh, go on. <laughs> go ahead, go on. You and I could make such beautiful music together. What am I, a woman or a cowbell? <laughs> Uh, 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 no coaching from the audience. You stay out of it. Honest, the first time I saw you, I said, there's the girl I'd like to really make Mrs. Spike. Well, I see. I suppose we'd settle down and raise a little thumbtack. <laughs> You're what I've always wanted, Miss Vague, a girl who matches my personality. Uh, you take that back or I'll sue you right up to the Supreme Court. <laughs> Once and for all, young man, you are not my type. You mean you won't have me even with the manpower shortage? It's a shortage, not a famine. <laughs> well, I'll be darned. You were right, fellas. I pay off. <laughs> well, there he goes, Miss Vig. You may never get another chance like that. 
Spike asked you to marry him. Why did you turn him down? Miss Langford, I will never marry a man I can't respect. Why can't you respect Spike? How can I respect a man who wants to marry me? <laughs> Too bad Vera Vague couldn't stay for Spike's next number, or she may have changed her mind about him, because now Spike and the city slickers go from the ridiculous to the sublime. And I do hope they stay there. <laughs> from Oh by Jingo to the beautiful Liebestorm. Spike? <laughs> In the sky, so low, you're better man than I am. Old Black Joe, what I say? little bear skin. He sleeps very well, I am told. Last night, I slept in my little bear skin, and I got a heck of a cold. Me, oh. I'm in so wet. Me, oh. I'm in so wet. Peace cold. Peace for in the pot. Nine days old. P.U. The boys were hooping it up. Jane, don't you think that was a fine tribute Spike just paid to the lovely old Liebstrom? Gee, thanks, Francis. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, Spike, that was a fine tribute you just paid to the lovely old Liebestrom. But don't worry, Francis. Spike's music has since to improve now. I wish you'd tell him how, Ken. Yeah, tell me how. Well, the War Production Board, you know, has lifted some of those restrictions. Now you'll be able to get some new pots and pans. (laughs) (laughs) I can see the ads now. Special Monday and Tuesday. Spike Jones and the City Slickers with two pair of pans. I wish some... You know, I wish some people would mind their own business. All right, by golly, I will. Wherever you go these days, this event is brought to your attention. This year of all years, the appropriate drink for refreshment on every occasion is ice, Chase and Sanborn coffee. It's being hailed all over the country. Yes, this richer blend is a record breaker, adding to its laurels daily, winning new friends on every hand in its 82nd banner year. In the past year, Chase and Sanborn coffee has brought more pleasure to more people than ever before. Now, that's one big reason so many are drinking iced coffee this summer. The lavish abundance of extra flavor in Chase and Sanborn coffee is just what iced coffee calls for. 
It's a great deal more than just a cooling drink. Not only delicious, refreshing, satisfying and all, but on top of that, it's coffee. And what coffee it is, with a great big surplus of richer flavor that laughs at the melting ice. Enjoy it often. Ask for Chase and Sanborn coffee every time. Here are three songs from the biggest Broadway musical hit of recent years. Dick Rogers and Oscar Hammerstein's good old Oklahoma. The City Slickers will play one of them, and Tony Romano and I will try to get together on the other two. Here's Spike. hospital might never have been heard if some American hadn't talked too much. Six months before the B-29 bomber was taken off the secret list, Japan knew quite a bit about it, and only because a few individuals in this country talk too much. A man or a woman may be working on a small part of a bomber and not even know it's for a plane, yet the barest description of it may tell the enemy facts which they can put to terrible use in shooting down our flyer. We Americans have always enjoyed top shop talk. We love to talk about our work. 
But if we want to finish this war without the unnecessary loss of a single life or the unnecessary hospitalization of a single flyer, such talk has got to stop. The Army and Navy say the leakage of vital information through loose talk is shockingly great. So please, please in the name of the men in these hospitals, remember that during the war, talk is not cheap. Good night. Leave us again next week when our guests, William Frawley and all of us, will be appearing at Dibble General Hospital in Menlo Park, California. Vera Vague will soon be seen in the Columbia Picture Snafu. This is Ken Carpenter speaking from Santa Ana, California. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight out of every ten say royal desserts taste more delicious. Yes, royal desserts taste more delicious. Take a tip from people who know, people who always use royal desserts. 1,526 told why, and eight out of every ten said, Royal desserts taste more delicious. Just try one. Try Royal Butterscotch Pudding. Its mellow, mouth-watering butterscotch flavor reminds you of homemade butterscotch candy, of butterscotch sauce on your favorite sundae, a perfect pudding, smooth as satin, creamy textured, and yet prepared in less than seven minutes and no sugar needed. You'll love Royal Chocolate and Royal Vanilla, too. Take any flavor your grocer has in gelatin desserts. Be sure it's Royal, too. Remember... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight out of every ten say, Royal desserts taste more delicious. Yes, Royal desserts taste more delicious. This is the National Broadcasting Company.